But in my opinion, really slowing spread within your community is much more important than trying to isolate your community from the source of infection. And that boils down to the fact that um, unless you can isolate yourself completely, which in this day and age very, very few communities can, the infection is going to arise somehow and then spread inside your community is going to be much, much more important than new arrivals from outside. So you're much better off doing everything you can to make sure that once infection arises, it would spread slowly in your community than you are trying to isolate or cut yourself off from others. So you can, you can do things to uh, reduce how much contact people have with each other. We know full well that persuading people to be really careful about their personal hygiene, so that's particularly washing their hands and uh, being careful about, you know, not re literally not sneezing over each other, there is beautiful experimental evidence to show that that makes a difference. And that's why we have all these catch it, bin it, kill it campaigns, is that that's one of the major things you can do. You can persuade people not to go to the theatre and the cinema or indeed close them down. And again, there's evidence from the 1918 epidemics on the, in the big cities on the east coast of the United States that that had a real impact. So there are things you can do. Um, I think we found pretty disappointingly this in, in the last couple of years, in the last flu pandemic, that massive treatment with antiviral drugs did little, if anything, to slow transmission.